the last way of reconciling is when you've got two lists to reconcile. So in this example, I've got a list 1 that's got a balance of 8, 7, 6, and a list 2 that's got a balance of 1, 3, 8. So we want to find what's the reconciling differences between these two lists. Now what's important is that you can have amount in list A that's not in list 2, and you can have amount in list 2 that's not in list 1. So it can be reconciling on both sides. So how do you find this? What I'm just going to do to make it a bit easier, I'm going to copy list 2 into the sheet. So now I've got two sheets. So let's call the first sheet list 1, and let's call the second list 2. So now I've got two lists. So what's very important before you even start doing this method is create a summary sheet for yourself. Because you want to make sure that once you get the reconciling differences, you know that you are balancing. So let's say list 1 and list 2. So what is my total of list 1? It's 876. My total of list 2 is 138. My difference, so I need to reconcile 738. Okay, and then we can see what's list 1 differences. So if we find a difference on list 1, it means the amount is in list 1 but not in list 2. And if we find a difference in list 2, it means that the amount is in list 2 but not in list 1. And then if we get those differences, then they should hopefully also equal 738. So now we've created a report to make sure that we do balance. And I always do my test totals in zero. So currently we're out. So what's the principle? The, the problem that, we, that we're starting off with is that we might have the same amount there more than once. Because if we had exactly the same amounts that's only there once on every um, list, then you could do a, a very quick VLOOKUP or some, if or some sort of filtering formula to get it. At this stage, it's going to be difficult because it's just going to throw out everything. So um, this method I'm showing you is a, let's call it a foolproof method. It always works. Um, you can add as much categories as you want. Um, just make sure they do exactly the same on both sides. So remember in the previous video and in some of our previous videos, I showed you how to make cells unique. This is the, the, the basic principle of reconciling two lists. So I want to first make this cell unique. So how do you do that with a count if? So first I'm just doing from the top, I'm fixing the first one and I'm counting how many 991s is there. And there's only one at this stage because I'm only selecting the first two cells. So when I'm copying down, you'll see that it will do that. In this case at the bottom, there's two seven seven zero, so it's one and two. So now I've got a unique cell. So now I can concatenate. You can concatenate categories as well. So let's do that. I'm concatenating that and the amount and the number. So now I've got a very unique cell. So this is the trick of making it unique. And you can concatenate as much as you want, as long as you're sure that you're doing exactly the same on other list. So let's just copy this formula to list 2. Just make sure we're doing the right thing. Okay, so now we've got unique fields on both sides. So now there's, there's different ways of doing this. What I normally do, I do a sum if. So I'm going to sum in this. I'm going to um, total whatever I'm finding in that column. I'm searching for that. And that is my criteria. So as you can see, this 9 and 1 is on the other list. So if I calculate the difference between that and that, if it's 0, it means it reconciles. So let's just calculate the totals. Remember I also showed you that it's the best way to do it, is to always calculate, to put the totals on top. So let's copy that down. We're doing exactly the same principle on both lists. So let's just make sure. So list 1 difference is this 1, 4, 1, 1, and list 2 is that. But we need to just turn the signage around, and there we are. So let's just go through this again. So first, we made every single cell unique, because I do not want to have in this row 37 and 38, where I've got two 770s, seven, seven then it's, it's not unique. So if, if I've got two 770s seven, seven on one side and one on the other side, it, it's just not going to work, so it's going to be kind of a mess. Then I'm concatenating all of that. So I'm concatenating, I'm making every single cell unique. So that when I'm searching for it on the other side, I've got the same unique values. And then it's a normal VLOOKUP or some if. 
I use a sum if always because we're working with numbers. So when you work with numbers, you use a sum if. So I'm actually using a sum ifs because it's just out of uh, uh, it just it just works better. So in this case, I'm going to total column B. I'm going to search for my unique cells that I've created in list two. So in list two, I'm searching for the values that I've concatenated here in list one. So in this specific cell, I'm going to search for account. That's my criteria. This new unique cell that I've created. I'm going to search for it in column D of list two. Every time it finds it, it must total it. In this case, it can only find it once because we know for a fact that this list is uh, unique. So now, if I put a fault in here and I only filter on the reconciling amounts, you'll see that I've got two reconciling amounts there. And yeah, we, it seems that we've got a problem. So I don't think we can have so many unreconciling amounts. Yeah, I've, I've, because I copied, I made a mistake. So let's just do this again. So I'm going to take list two. I'm going to sum whatever I'm getting from column B in list one. I'm going to search for that account, and every time it finds it, uh, I'm doing it the wrong way around. It must search for in column D and it must search for my unique field. And there we go. So that is our unreconciling differences. Which adds up to this. So it shows us in list one we've got this two amounts that's not in list two. And in list two we've got this two amounts that's not in list one. So you make every cell unique, you search for that cell on the other side. You can do it with a VLOOKUP or a SUMIF. SUMIF just works better because it, it filters into your report so you can very quickly see if there's any errors. Um, add as many categories as you want. I could have added account one, the year, I mean you can make this concatenate as long as you want. Um, I've even added uh, a space in there. Um, so it's important to note that I it's a very simplistic way of doing it. If you've got different formats, you need to get it, you don't necessarily need to get it in the same format. You just need to make sure that this formulas that you're doing is in the same format. Um, that you're doing the same concatenate function on both sides. You're pulling to exactly the same data. If I had a year, for example, in here, a column called year, and on this side, I pulled it from there, then obviously it won't work. So the format is different. So if I had something like this, 2012, and let's just take this down quickly. And now I, by mistake, I added the 2012 as well. Then it's not going to balance. Then everything will be out. So normally when you see nothing balancing, it, it means that uh, you're not concatenating the same things. So it's important to do exactly the same on both lists. It's a very effective way of doing reconciliations.